In this video, I'm taking a look at the Ray Jakku Star Wars Funko Pop. Let's jump right into it. Hey everyone, my name is Christopher, welcome to Seriously Star Wars. On this channel I do weekly Star Wars reviews, so if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Alright, so this is the Ray Jakku Star Wars Funko Pop, and this is of course the newly released 2021 Summer Convention exclusive, the Funko, the Funko 2021 Summer Exclusive Convention, so it's got that exclusive convention sticker on the left or the right side of the the packaging there and it's also an exclusive to amazon it's part of their across the galaxy uh collection of star wars funko pops so you were able to get the the camino funko pops the bad batch ones the qui-gon Jin for tatooine and a few other funko pops i think there were hoth funko pops and i think there were some dagobah funko pops there but i was really happy to to see this one when it got announced there and I pre-ordered it right away. This just came in I think last weekend so really happy that this came in. Really, I was really excited for this one. So as you can see it's got that, that 2021 summer convention sticker on the right hand side of the bubble there. And it's got that really nice looking sunset orange that kind of runs into a pink and purple for the color scheme. The side of the packaging you can see the the landscape, the horizon with the with the sunset behind Ray there, and then the the moisture farming equipment or the moisture evaporators, whatever that is. And then on the back you get a better picture of that. So really nice packaging, really nice color scheme. And then in the distance there, uh, walking along the horizon in front of the sunset there, there's a couple of characters. I'm not sure who those are meant to be, but really nice artwork on this one. Really nice color scheme. Of course you got the typical Funko Pop branding and and uh, Star Wars logos all the way around so you got the the Pop logo the Star Wars logo you got the series number Ray Jakku is number 451 in the series and then of course you got the name there Ray Jakku right in nice bold lettering on the right side of the box of course more Funko Pop and Star Wars branding the name, the series number, at the back there, your usual pop branding and Star Wars branding, except you got the Star Wars logo there, right where you would usually have the the rest of the Funko Pops in the collection, but because this one is a an exclusive to Amazon and the summer exclusive, it's uh, it doesn't have the rest of the collection there. There are no other other Funko Pops in the collection with this one, so it's missing that. And then of course on the side of the box, you got the full size image of Ray, the Ray Funko Pop there, which displays nicely when it's in the box there. You can display them all in a row and see which Funko Pop it is. But let's take the Ray Jakku out of the packaging and we'll take a closer look. Alright, so there is the Ray Jakku Star Wars Funko Pop out of the packaging. And another thing that I meant, uh, I don't know if I mentioned before, but this one, all the Funko Pops, they come with a, an insert at the back of the box there. But this one's a really nice one, so I figured I'd mention this one. It's got that really nice sunset of Jakku there. So that would look really nice behind the Ray if you're going to pull her out of the box. But I'm not going to keep that. I'll put that aside for now. And let's take a little, a little bit closer look at Ray here. So here's Ray, the Jakku Ray Funko Pop, looking fantastic. And I had mentioned before in my previous Ray Funko Pop review, I think it was the, the Ray with the two lightsabers from the Rise of Skywalker, that up until this point, or up until that point, that was my favorite Ray. Funko Pop, but I think this one has just bumped that one down into second place, but a very close second place. So this one is, this one's by far my favorite looking Ray Funko Pop. And she's got that iconic stance where she's kind of walking 
and then turning around to BB-8 to look at BB-8. I'm pretty sure that's what this stance is. So, love the stance. She's got the, the staff in one hand. She's walking and turning. She's got the wind blowing her robes there and her hair. Really fantastic looking Funko Pop. The sculpt is fantastic. Lots of detail in her outfit, her robes. Even her little details in her boots there. The side of the boots, how they wrinkle up a little bit around her ankle. Like I said, the, the robes flowing in the wind there. Really nice details. Really nice paint application. There is a little bit of overpaint just on her neck. Just beneath the spring there. A little bit of gray paint over paint there. Nothing too major though. I don't think you'll see it when she's displayed on the shelf. But really nice looking Funko Pop. Just love the detail in this. Little bits of brown on the belt and on her one uh, wristband there. And her pants are kind of like a kind of gray or dark tan color. And then the rest of her robes are a, a lighter tan color. Even the nice details in her, her staff there. So like the, the hand grip is this same tan color with the, the light brown. And then the metal, the kind of brushed metal look for the staff looks absolutely fantastic. So overall just a really nice looking Funko Pop. Really happy I picked this one up. This is now my favorite Ray Funko Pop with the the Ray from the Rise of Skywalker with the two lightsabers being a very close second. But this one is my favorite. But let me know down in the comments what you guys think of the Ray Jakku Star Wars Funko Pop. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Did you pick it up? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and then click over here to watch one of my other reviews. Thank you so much for watching and may the force be with you.